2D animation is a discipline that has not only grown in popularity, but versatility as well. We see many types of 2D animation using different tools and approaches, as well as tutorials. A lot of tutorials are available for free on YouTube and other platforms, but certainly not all of them are good. For this very reason, we decided to make a video showcasing our pick for the best 2D animation tutorials that touch on a variety of 2D animation types. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Create unique characters and their world through ideation and practical exercises that can be applied to various media. This Domestica course is presented by Nathan Jurevicius, an illustrator, filmmaker, toy designer, author, and concept artist. Follow along as he shares his personal approach to creating unique and meaningful characters and how to envision and create the worlds they inhabit. Nathan worked with huge brands and companies from all over the world, such as IKEA, Kid Robot, and Hasbro. Throughout the course, you'll learn how to gather your reference and how to form your thought maps. You'll also learn how to formulate characters and their worlds to help you generate your own engaging universe. And as you venture deeper in this course, you'll learn the steps of what makes a good character and how to imagine the world they inhabit through different techniques and mediums. At the end, after finishing your project, you'll see how you can assess your work and determine what could be improved. Nathan will also explain how you can stay motivated in your personal and professional life. If you're interested in this course, you'll find all the necessary links in the description box below. In this three-part tutorial, TipTut walks us through how we can mix live footage and animation to make for an interesting type of 2D animation. He walks us through the entire process, from starting by giving us tips on how to shoot the footage to make for an optimal result, to preparing set footage for animation, and then animating, adding color, masking, lighting, and so on and so forth. TipDot also suggests animation and Adobe courses to those who aren't very familiar with animation. Making for a full-fledged tutorial covering all bases, we highly recommend you check TipDot's video and their channel in general. Marco Bucci is highly regarded as one of the best 2D art veterans on YouTube. His tutorials and other educational content are well-made, well-explained, and a joy to look at. So, if you aren't following this master of art, you're missing out a whole lot. In this tutorial of his, Marco introduces us to the great potential of Blender as a 2D animation tool. Marco Bucci shows us how we can use Blender's 2D grease pencil. In addition to 2D animation workspace and very simple and easy to use 3D tools in Blender, to make a cinematic 2D animation with dynamic background and a lively character animation, Bucci adopts a very simplistic but detailed approach, guiding you through the process step by step. And there's more! This video in particular is the second part of a three-part series, in which the first introduces the tools and the last is all about choosing the right colors. So, be sure to watch the entire series for a tutorial that covers all bases. For those of you who learn by observation of a full process, you're in luck today because Olaf Storm does just that in this tutorial of his. Olaf walks us through the entire process of him animating a martial arts action scene using Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Cinema 4D. The tutorial uses the explanatory speed paint approach. Basically, Olaf presents a sped-up version of his entire process from start to finish and explains each section, giving us the thought he put behind every step as well as countless tips and tricks. If any of this sounds interesting, be sure to check Olaf Storm's tutorial. This is a gold mine for those who want a detailed lecture-like tutorial, as this is literally a part of a lecture taken and broadcasted on YouTube. This animation tutorial focuses on the frame-by-frame -frame animation of the bust of a girl. It helps you approach the face and different parts of it in animation, in order to keep it all consistent through the entire length of your animation. It gives tips and examples from well-known animations, such as Disney's 1989 The Little Mermaid. In this tutorial, Brad explains his storytime animation process to those wanting to make storytime videos and other content using animation. 
In his tutorial, Brad uses Adobe Animate, but uses a general enough explanation centering on both the animation process and the software equally that you can apply his tips to any animation software you are using. He covers everything from writing a script, recording it, to making a storyboard for the animation and, of course, the animation process itself. This tutorial is yet another well-made and fully-fledged tutorial that covers all bases. So, be sure to check Brad's tutorial out if you want to make an intriguing story time. This one is tailor-made for those of you who want to learn the ins and outs of Clip Studio Paint to animate in an anime style, as Dong is a professional animator in the Japanese animation industry. Dong walks us through the entire process of animation from preparing the canvas, rough animation, tie-down animation to clean up and coloring, all in Clip Studio Paint, sparing no small detail. This tutorial is very centric on the software, so we only recommend it and recommend it highly to those learning or wanting to learn Clip Studio Paint, so keep this in mind before investing your time in this tutorial. This tutorial is yet another one by the great Olaf Storm. Since it's by the same person, you can expect this tutorial to be formatted the same way as the previous one. This tutorial shows you how Olaf built an environment for his characters that he is going to animate. In painting the environment, Olaf uses a mix of 2D and 3D to get the perfect shot he is looking for. And then he uses that as a base for the animation of his character who this time around need much less animation than the previous ones, but in no way, shape or form lack any liveliness. Yet again, Olaf shows us a sped up drawing and animating process of the character and goes through each of his steps with detailed explanations, sprinkling many tips and tricks along the way. This tutorial is as close as we can get to the end-all, be-all of animation tutorials, as it teaches you principles that you will find in all types of animation and that guaranteed to make your animation as lively as they can get. Alan bases his tutorial on the descriptions of Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston of the 12 principles of animation. Alan wastes no time getting into the tutorial. He introduces the principle, explains it, and gives small animations as examples, as well as all the frames in these example animations to make the understanding of the concept a lot easier. This tutorial is an absolute masterclass and a must-see for anyone learning animation. If you want to watch the process of making a simple animal walk cycle animation, this video is for you. In her video, Angela shows us the steps she goes through to animate a cute fox walking around. She uses Procreate to create a preliminary sketch to get the animation started on, and then moves to Rough Animator to do the other frames and the actual animation process. This is a perfect video for those who do animation as a hobby and don't want any complicated tutorial, or for those who learn by observing. The tutorial has relaxing music and well-shot footage showing all the steps thoroughly and will make for a fun and informative watch, so be sure to check it out if this sounds like something interesting for you. In this tutorial, WBA Animation shows us the entire process they go through to make an animation using an iPad Pro and Procreate to do everything from the storyboarding, drawing and coloring, to putting all the shots together in LumaFusion. WBA Animation spares no detail. They explain thoroughly every step in their process. If using Procreate and a video editing application to do your animation sounds like the perfect process for you, we highly recommend watching this tutorial to get an idea of how this can be done properly. And that's it for our video today. We hope you enjoyed it and found the suitable tutorial for you. Of course, this is only our pick of some of the best duty animation tutorials, but we know that there are plenty more out there. For this reason, we invite you to tell us all about your favorite 2D animation tutorials in the comments section below. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time!